Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to cook some ribs and we're going to cook them in two different styles. Here's our rack of ribs and what I've done is cut it in half because it's just our immediate family that I'm cooking this for. This is a rack of Duroc ribs, uh, really good pork. It came from Midland Meat Company. I'll leave their information down below in the show more section. So we're gonna separate these because I'm cooking one in an Eastern North Carolina style, and then this one's gonna be kind of a Memphis style. So let's go ahead and get these seasoned up. I'm gonna start off with the Memphis first. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, I like to use a black garlic puree with a little bit of olive oil is my binder. This is fantastic. I've used it on some chicken. I've used it on turkey. I've used it on um, ribs, of course. I've already removed the membrane on the back of this. Um, this right here is just gives it such a great flavor and also helps set that bark that we really like. So we're gonna season this up. I'm gonna be using a new seasoning today. It's Root Boy Rub number two. It's by Root Boy Cooks, Sal with Root Boy Cooks. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll leave his information below and you can get in touch with him if you want to get you some of this season. I highly recommend it, it's great stuff. But this is gonna be on our Memphis ribs today. Go ahead and get this seasoned up. This is kind of a rough rub. It's not, you know, it's not a fine cut rub. It's got some nice large pieces in it, which I think is going to be doing great for these Memphis style ribs. Of course, all on the back as well. Okay, these are seasoned up. I'm going to sit this to the side and we're going to get our North Carolina. Now, typically with North Carolina, you're not going to put you know, much of a binder on there. Some people use mustard. I don't prefer mustard. I use, it, use a lot of olive oil on mine, but I'm gonna use some of this garlic today because I really like this puree. And yes, I am from Eastern North Carolina and I may have some haters out there because I'm doing this, but hey, I always say, and if you know me, I always say whatever tastes good to you is what's good. There's no textbook way to do this I just cook the way I like but this is based on an Eastern North Carolina type of rib and basically what I mean by that is we're just going to use just salt and pepper this is just a mix even part salt and pepper and that's all we're gonna be putting on this and I'll be using the sauces that I'll be using today are actually my sauces that I'm trying to kind of get started and see how, how it goes out there. One of them is a Memphis style and one of them is an Eastern North Carolina style. Okay, we've got these seasoned up. We'll go ahead and get the pellet smoker up to temp. And we're going to be looking at 300 degrees today, so we're going to be cooking these kind of hot and fast. All right, before we get the ribs on, I want to introduce you to my new portable pellet grill from Pit Boss. And the reason why it's portable is these legs right here will fold in on both sides. Be great for tailgating, camping, if you watch any of my videos. When we get a little closer, you'll be able to see. Got a decent size of here where you can put a couple of racks of ribs in here. Again, it's great for camping and tailgating. Got your hopper over here, it does a 475 and then a higher heat inside here. You can actually slide over the heating area and you can get an uh, actual sear like on a steak and so forth. So that's really nice. Over here, got your bottle opener, you got your tray here, you can hang. And also today, we're gonna be using the pellets from Smoke Ring Barbecue Pellets. This is their oak blend, great, great pellets so this is going to pair well with our ribs 
So just wanted to introduce you guys to this. I'll leave the information down below. Again, this is the ranch hand. All right, let's go ahead and get these ribs on. Got a bit of here, there's a sizzle going on. Again, we're cooking at 300 degrees. Hot and fast on these. Let's see if I can get these centered up pretty good. Looking at somewhere around two and a half hours. Every 30 minutes, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna baste these with that Eastern North Carolina barbecue sauce. And probably around 30 minutes, at close to the end, that's when I put the sauce on these Memphis style. Take a look at these, it's been about 30 minutes. Start to tighten up some. We're gonna go ahead and baste the Eastern North Carolina. Just traditional sauce. Check them in another 30 minutes. 30 more minutes into the cook. And this time I'm gonna spray the Memphis ribs. This is just a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar and a little bit of water just to keep them moist. And we're gonna baste these uh, mop these ribs, this Eastern North Carolina. Oh man, they smell good. All right, we'll keep on. Alrighty, another 30 minutes into it. Spray these down, get some nice color on both of them. We're getting some pull back on there, hopefully you can see that. I'm thinking another 30 minutes and we'll be good. Thirty more minutes into the cook, we're gonna go ahead and baste these. The last thirty minutes. These are our Memphis. Man, these smell so good. Great color on them. Let's turn these over to the side here. Give our Eastern North Carolina another base. See that? Hopefully you can see how the bones are pulling away perfectly. Go ahead and baste these. Give us a good mopping on there. Thirty more minutes, and we are done. Okay, here's our finished ribs. Got your Memphis on this side and Eastern North Carolina on this side. Let's go ahead and cut into each one of them and show you how they look. We're gonna start off with the Eastern North Carolina. Let's get this one right across here. That looks good. It's got a nice smoke rain in there. It's still got some moisture in there. 
see that. Hopefully you can see that. Nice. Let's cut into the Memphis style. Turn these over. Let's cut right here on the back side of this one. And let's see. It's hard to tell out here, but there is some moisture still in here. Really nice color. Of that Root Boys rub. So let's bite into them and see how they taste. Try the Eastern North Carolina first. Nice pullback. Those typical flavors, nothing but savory. With that sauce in there, simple seasonings, taste amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Got a nice, nice bark to it. You can probably hear that. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Now let's try the Memphis. Here is the Memphis. It's a little bit thicker one here than the other one, but let's try it. Mm. Same way, clean. These are amazing as well. Mm. That root boy rub, along with my Memphis barbecue sauce, great combination. These are so good. There you go. Eastern North Carolina versus Memphis ribs. They were both amazing. Two different styles, two different flavors, but both of them were great. Of course, now I'm partial to Eastern North Carolina because it runs through my veins. Be sure to go check out Sal at Root Boy Cooks and get you some of these rubs that he has. They're amazing. For some reason, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We thank you so much for your support. Until next time, God bless.